guys, so I'm going to be minting the founding character released by this new RPG game called The Beacon. So I just want to say N-F-A-D-Y-O-R. I'm personally not an NFT expert, um, nor am I a trading expert. So I invest in games uh, for several reasons that I may talk about later, but mainly because I have confidence in the team and also I'm interested in finding out about gameplay. So please do your own research before you jump into minting the founding character mint. So basically the beacon, how they describe it is a F2P action roguelike RPG. So F2P basically is free to play. Roguelike, if I'm not wrong, basically refers to a certain type of game uh, a, that requires you to do action-based tasks to defeat enemies to level up. Um, so that's what I know about roguelike games, but this site says roguelike, so I'm not too sure if it's the same thing. But basically the game is still in development, and yeah, I think it should be roguelike um, because it is a dungeon game, which is basically what roguelike means. So, a dungeon game where you defeat enemies, um, level up, and survive. So, basically, they do show you some rough images of the game, which uh, we will see later as I try out the game for the first time. Basically, you can play it for free and you can collect limited edition NFTs as you play. Starting the game in this phase doesn't mean that you are entitled to a whitelist for the upcoming mint. So they have a mint on the 16th of December where you'll be able to mint a pet egg. So there are only 4k uh, NFTs available to mint. So I'm guessing the top 4k players will get to mint that egg. And this is their... Um, project roadmap. So mid gen, apparently the eggs will hatch, and then in 2023, sometime in 2023, there will be an alpha release of the game. So I think this is pretty similar to how Pixels kind of did their launch, which uh, intrigues me, and also similarly, their founders are all dogs. So I did take a quick look at the founders. Um, their co-founder Diego used to work at Microsoft and the other two founders basically are in crypto and gaming so I like how they are docs. Um, it gives me more confidence that the team will try their best to well, make the NFT succeed or the game do well. So that's just an initial overview of the game. So let's get into the mint. Right now they are having their founding character mint that they just released a few hours ago. So the game is still in development, which I kind of like because um, you can actually follow the team as they slowly develop the game, similar to how Pixels did it. So. Yay, so I got this pink hair guy. So you can't choose what your character looks like, so I guess that's what I'm stuck with. Okay, so I just entered the game. Some initial reactions. So it looks like you have your own room. I'm guessing that this room or house is um, a house situated in the world that Beacon is building. So there's an inventory where I have a chest, um, pants, uh, a different haircut, a smile which is like a smirk, and eyes. So I'm not sure how this works. Do I click on this? Hmm. 
yourself down here. Okay, I'm not very sure how this works, but... Oh, okay. So you can customize the character based on the things you have in your inventory. So... Oh no, you can choose. Okay, great. So I'm gonna choose brown because I'm brown. Well, I am gonna go. Oh, okay. His eyes are open now, but I can't seem to choose any other color. So I think I'm stuck with purple. For hair, I don't really like pink though. Hmm. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. We look at now. So if I put this hair on, it seems like I'm stuck with pink. Mm. I guess the squint is kind of cute, but I don't really like the hair, so I'm just gonna leave the hair bald. Yeah, I think this looks cute. Kind of like Avatar in The Legend of Aang. So I'm gonna save him like this. And ta-da! He looks like this now. So house editor. Oh, okay. You can build your house. Oh, but you don't. I don't have anything yet. So I don't think I'm able able to build anything. So I exited my house. Oh, nice! Wow, nice. Okay. So. I have some fruits outside my house. I have a little red door. Wow, the graphics are nice. A drink a day keeps the umbra away. Drinks you will find outside of Alteris this way. So I'm guessing Alteris is where we are now. So we're exiting Alteris. Oh no, Alteris is a bar. So, cool. So the bartender is like a giant bear. Can I interact with people? Oh, bartender boy. Nice. So it seems like you can't really interact with most of the characters in the game. Okay, so this is where you go to find quest. This contract board. Okay, so clickable things will have a white outline. Oh no, okay, yeah, you just have to go close enough. Okay, so basically you just have to go really close to the character to be able to click on it and play or interact with the character. So they're all NPCs I think. They don't seem to be providing me with anything to do with quest. Oh. Yeah, so the quest bot is empty as well, so I'm not very sure what I need to do for now. Yeah, then mail. 
Okay, no mail. You can't seem to exit here. Settlers beware dungeon entrance ahead. Okay, let's go. Ooh, okay. Maybe there'll be something around here for me to do. So I'm guessing Umbra is the enemy in the game because it seems like a common theme where they talk about keeping the Umbra away. Not sure what Umbra looks like, but I guess we'll find out. Oh. Okay, I thought I could pick it up, but no. Commander Jika. We are currently probing the dungeon and we need all adventurers to help us. Go inside and explore the dungeon. Fend off anything that is trying to rip your face off and find an exit. <gasps> okay. The dungeon's floor is ever-changing, the walls move and the floor crumbles because of the high density of umbra. Okay. There's a reward for those who finish the dungeon. There will be different exits, but they will all end up with riches from unknown origins. Okay. Okay, so I guess we don't have unlimited shots to do this. So I'm trying to pick that one. Okay, we're not ready. Okay, so let's go. Ah! Okay, I'm not too sure I'm supposed to do that. Oh, okay, these are the umbra, these skeleton looking things. Ah! Ah! I die. Okay, so some first impressions of the game. Honestly, the graphics are amazing. So number one, if you're looking for a game that has cute graphics and character animation, um, as well as <coughs> cute characters and NPCs in the game, I would definitely recommend trying the beacon. I had so much fun just entering the world, um, seeing uh, the different structures, the houses, how they decided to design the entire world. So I really enjoyed the design aspect. Um, they also have music. So as you can tell, when I was outside of my house, there wasn't music. That was uh, my own edited video music. But once you enter the bar or once you enter the, um, the Umbra maze where I had to fight off the Umbra, it was actually the game music. So that was pretty cool that they have different music for different settings um, to help you associate um, the sound with the setting. So I think overall the design of the game I really enjoyed. Um, in terms of um, things that you have to do in the game, so it is a roguelike game so that means that it's very dungeon style. You have to complete certain quests before you can move on. In that way, I would say personally for me because I'm not the best at action games and also number two I'm not sure if you realize but my computer was lagging like crazy but that's on me I am not really using the best computer for gaming I'm using a MacBook Pro that's probably about five years old so um, my computer is not suited for gaming which I probably need to change 
uh, that's for another video but anyways you can see that when I was fighting off the Umbra my computer was lagging so I'm sorry if I didn't give you guys the best experience possible but you definitely need a computer with better processing speed um, as well as the skill to fight off Umbra and um, and complete the main. So if you want to move on to the next stage, you'll have to complete um, the different missions. So in that way, if you're looking for a more relaxing game where you're just doing more repetitive tasks like farming and things like this, um, the beacon is not the game that can give you that kind of satisfaction. It's definitely a bit more upbeat fast-paced it gets your heart racing kind of quests and missions which could be fun and it could be a fresh breath of air uh, for RPG games so I actually am pretty excited and right now very determined to try to finish the mission so I'm gonna do my best to try to complete it and uh, move on to other stages of the game so if you guys want to try a new RPG game uh, as that is integrated into Web3 and uh, want to try to win a whitelist for the upcoming Egg Mint, I would suggest to give Beacon a shot. Um, why not? It's the weekend. Um, if you have nothing to do or you want to try a new game, yeah, just give the Beacon a shot and let me know what you guys think of the game in the comments. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye!